Richard Krauss. Now, director Jim Sheridan may have figured out a way around the War on Terror movie jinx that has kept everything from Jarhead to In the Valley of Allah and Lions for Lambs off top 10 box office lists. He turns the volume way down, making a quiet movie that keeps the action to a minimum and lets the emotion of the piece do the talking. Oh, and he's cast three very appealing actors, Spider-Man, Prince Dastin, and Senator Padme Amendala. That's Tobey Maguire, Jake Gyllenhaal, and Natalie Portman to you and me, and collectively they're doing some of the best work of their careers. For the purposes of the story of Brothers, Gyllenhaal and Maguire are Cain and Abel, diametrically opposed brothers. Uh, Tommy, Gyllenhaal, is a bad seed, freshly released from prison after a bank robbery gone wrong. Sam, played by Tobey Maguire, is a captain in the Marines, a former high school football star, husband to Grace, played by Natalie Portman, and father to two adorable daughters. When when Sam's Black Hawk helicopter is shot down in Afghanistan's Pamir Mountains, he is presumed dead. Back home, Tommy tries to fill the gap left by his brother, playing dad to the kids and platonically comforting Grace. The twist is that Sam is not dead. He's been captured and tortured by Taliban fighters. When he's liberated and brought back to the United States, his warm, easy smile is gone replaced by a paranoid volatility. Now, Brothers is a slow burn of a movie. Dialogue-driven, the action moves slowly, allowing us to get a good sense of who these people are and why they behave in the way that they do. Lots of biographical information is delivered, but much of it is left to our imaginations. Tommy, for instance, is just out of jail, but we never really find out all the details of his crime. Instead, as Sam and Tommy drive past a bank, Sam asks, are you ever going to apologize to that woman? And somehow we get the whole picture. The movie is ripe with such moments. When Grace confronts her dead husband's closet for the first time, it is played silently but really packs a wallop. Sheridan isn't afraid to let the audience think for themselves and imagine how they would react in similar situations. Call it method watching, if you like. It demands that the audience fill in the blanks and it's a really effective way to tell an emotional story. And it is an emotional story, but not a particularly complicated one. Sheridan even has Grace say at one point, I am such a cliche. And she's right. Many of the characters are by the book. There's the bad boy who finds redemption through family. The heart is nails, former military man. But these actors add shades of gray to otherwise black and white renderings. Gyllenhaal brings warmth to a character who shouldn't have any. Portman has a strong veneer, but there's a sadness behind her eyes. And McGuire, despite a tendency to be a bit bug-eyed effectively portrays Sam's confusion. Now, the supporting cast is equally as strong. Sam Shepard still has a profile worthy of Mount Rushmore, but now also has a beer belly to go with it, and it gives his character some heft, both literally and figuratively. But it is Bailey Madison and Taylor Gere as daughters Isabel and Elsie who really shine here. They are remarkably endearing without giving the kind of precious performance that mar so many of kids' uh, performances. Brothers isn't a war movie. It's a movie about what happens after war and in its own quiet way shows the toll that war takes not only on the people overseas but those who stay home as well. Richard Krauss.